Number six, tomorrow shall be my dancing day. So we've just added this great, you know, little section, which by the way is unaccompanied. It's not conducted. So you can have lots of fun with that. And then slow down. And again, here the tomorrow shall be my dancing day is one that I have a tendency to start playing faster and faster. Um, again, uh, fairly unlikely that they're going to be going faster than 53 to the dotted half. Um, there's a chance that they're, they'll be playing it slower than that. Um, I had a chance to actually, I did some concerts for the wonderful soprano Nancy Wertheim. Um, and we did this piece where she was just singing, you know, singing the, uh, the solo line for the most part. And that was fun because you got a chance to really hear how it all fit together in a different way than you typically do with just a couple of rehearsals in a choir. Um, and it starts out, we, we start... And then we have uh, solos. And again, you know, we started out nice and strong and they, he even has a mark, you know, forte, and then down to a piano because again, this is a case to really listen and hopefully get a chance to check the balance, have somebody check the balance for you because it's just a single voice. Um, and make sure that that's working out well. Now here, we have the first of these little sections where there's often just a little bit of a riff. My love, my love, my love, tomorrow shall... So we get... Um, so that's just something to be aware of. And again, listening to the recordings will pick that out for you, but it's not, you know, it's not marked. And it's almost always the case where something is done. So just be aware of that. Um, this middle section here is tricky. It's tricky technically, and it is a little bit tricky to fit together with the choir because they're doing all sorts of intricate stuff. And it's easy, especially when we have these sections where it sounds like we're in two, or again, we have this, my love, my love, my love, but they can't slow down here, but you know, they'll, they, they'll often want to. And so it can be a little bit tricky. And this is a good section to really know, have listened to the recordings and be able to catch them if something, something happens and, and also uh, watch the conductor there as well. Yeah. <laughs> sections here, you know, various different spots where I'm leaving out of the little of that. Uh, I don't try to catch that. It's just, it's fast enough that it's just, I find it too difficult. So, and it's fine. You know, we, for the most part, we don't hear, we don't have anything on that beat sheet anyway. Um, and we get used to hearing that. So again, that, that thought of, you want it to sound good, you know, you want it to sound good. And it's not going to sound good if if that's the start. Um, definitely this last time, my love, my love. There's you know there's quite a usually quite a bit of it. Sometimes they they don't want to do much. That's fine too. But just again, because it's not written, be aware of that. Um, and they they end on this. We play this note. That's not with them, and then they come in uh, on with beat three with a pickup, and then we come.
that's the section again where it's fun to play even faster in fact um glorious section like it's great music it's it's great stuff um couple thoughts too there this is something i discovered not the first time i played it but at one point that hey i could actually take that a in the left hand and make it a lot easier because otherwise we have it's just oh so easier. This little section um, I would say for me something that helps a little bit there is you kind of make sure that we get a great start on this scale up. That the first couple notes are really secure. So just something to think about, and really it just requires a, a you know a lot of practice. Um, let me wander down. And here, I finger it, and then place back. anything um because yeah just we, we're gonna we're just the parts slow down a little bit later this section so i do the first i you know i figure the first one was two one and then i move up and grab four two two one so just it, I like that, it works really well, but one of the things to be aware of is that it's, you know, we have to move that fourth finger up quite a bit and make sure that, and as we're doing so, watch that it doesn't come in from too low a spot because it does, it's going to nick that D. This section, just make sure you can play that fairly, fairly fast as if you're, you're slowing down because you want to and not because you have to, see if you can just follow the, what the choir wants to do there. Um, and then we get this great little send off. So there you have it. John Rutter's Dancing Day. Hope you've enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you again next week. Cheers.